vying for a chance to command a battalion. Lieutenant Colonel James Anderson is an aide to General Creighton Abrams, the overall U.S. military commander in Vietnam. Seven years after serving as an advisor to the Arvin, Anderson now prepares to take command of a troubled American battalion. General Abrams turned to me one night at the dinner table and he said, Jim, he said, why don't you take command of that battalion? It was almost as though to say, uh, okay, wise guy, you seem to have all the answers. Why don't you, won't you go show me? And I said, I'd love to take command of that battalion. Anderson will soon discover just how important unifying his men is. The door to battalion headquarters opens, and in walk a bunch of generals. They swear me to secrecy and get right to the point. How long before you can be, be prepared, prepared to make, make a, a combat, combat assault, assault into Cambodia? Into Cambodia. And I said, are we talking about in terms of hours, days, weeks, months? And they said, we're talking about hours. For years, the North Vietnamese have used neighboring Cambodia as a refuge. Much of the Ho Chi Minh Trail runs through the country, and large stores of enemy weapons and supplies are hidden along the border. But since the start of hostilities, U.S. policy has prohibited its ground troops from entering the country for risk of widening the war. In early 1970, however, President Nixon sees a window of opportunity when the Cambodian leader, Noradum Shayanuk, is ousted by the pro-American general Lan Nol. Despite the political risk, Nixon decides a chance at destroying the NVA's capacity to launch assaults into South Vietnam is worth the gamble, and so he issues top-secret orders, sending U.S. troops into Cambodia. It's like a shot of adrenaline straight into my vein. Within hours, hundreds of soldiers are assembling. Massive amounts of ammo and supplies are being flown in and distributed. No one can contain their excitement. We've been waiting a long time for this. A chance to cross that forbidden line and see what's on the other side. Finally going into Cambodia. I haven't slept in almost 24 hours, and yet I feel more awake now than I ever have in my life. Lieutenant Colonel James Anderson is leading his battalion from the 1st Air Cavalry into Cambodia. Ahead of them stretch waves of tactical fighters and B-52 bombers, while below race mile-long columns of mechanized infantry and armor. Altogether, 30,000 U.S. troops are poised for action. Their mission is twofold. First, decimate enemy sanctuaries and disrupt NVA supply lines along the Ho Chi Minh Trail, and second, attempt to find and destroy the communist military command center known as Kazvin, which is rumored to be located in the Fishhook region, 